Toy robots, educational robots, industrial robots and domestic robots. The range here is extraordinary. A grill bot can now clean your barbecue. A lawn bot can cut the grass. There's even a famous robot. And of course, it's the advances in humanoid robots, which really grab the attention. This is Pepper, a robot which could help address the crisis in social care for the elderly. To be a reminder of the, to take a pill, to go to a doctor, uh, anything that they, they need. And for kids, uh, there is a really uh, great application that is for kids for autism. So he really helps in the therapy for this. Last month, the World Economic Forum in Davos heard gloomy predictions of millions of human jobs being lost as automation sweeps the industrial world. Robots replacing humans in fields as diverse as manufacturing, transportation, even medicine and social care. And standing here at this expo in the midst of this automated warehouse environment, it's not difficult to believe that could be true. But what all these diverse exhibitors have in common is the belief that advanced robotics and automation are actually going to bring huge benefits to humanity. When general public, they start to understand better what is behind the robots and what they do, they will start being more connected with the technology. My name is Robo Thespian. I'm an interactive humanoid robot from Engineered Arts. The robo-thespian is primarily a presentation bot. Its artificial intelligence can not only tell the age of the human in front of it, it can also recognize that person's emotions. But speaking through robo-thespian by a remote link from the company headquarters in Cornwall, its creator says science fiction horror stories are mistaken. We've heard Stephen Hawking say that uh, AI is potentially uh, the biggest threat to humanity. Elon Musk said it was potentially more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Where's the actual evidence for this? I think I'd be much more afraid of a, of a, a human with a nuclear weapon than I would be of a robot. Some of the most interesting parts of the exhibition are the spaces given over to observe robots working in what would be their natural habitats. A typical home has been recreated for the consumer robots to prove their purpose, for example. But what's clear is there will always be a place for the real humans in this increasingly robotic world. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Madrid.